everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the Camo Flange by 4PFX. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't be signing in my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. So the Camo Flange by Thorpe is a great analog flanger pedal that was designed to cover all things flanger and do it to a great standard, just like all of Thorpe's pedals. This one, however, was designed in collaboration with Dan Coggins, formerly of Love Tide, and they designed it to cover all of those classic sounds that we hear flanger pedals on, as well as making something unique, all whilst being simple to use and 100% analog. So we have six different controls on the front of the pedal. We have a harmonics control, which is a centered zero control. When centered, there is no regenerative feedback around the delay path. When moved off center in either direction, up to either extreme, an increasing amount of delay on the output is fed back to the delay input. Eventually, this leads to self-oscillation. Each half of the control has an opposite polarity, and this produces even harmonics in the anti-clockwise position or odd harmonics in the clockwise position, creating different tonal timbers. The manual control, otherwise known as the delay time control, Control, sets the clock rate for the Bucket Brigade delay chip, which is at its shortest in the anti-clockwise position and gives proportionally longer delay times when moved clockwise. When the depth control is fully counterclockwise, the manual control dominates the set delay time, which may be swept by hand accordingly. We have a treble control that allows an increase from zero up to a maximum of upper mid-range and treble pre-emphasis into the delay line path only and doesn't affect the dry signal. The blend control sets the balance of dry and wet signal. Fully clockwise would give vibrato slash pitch modulation and or doubling effects. Anti-clockwise will allow more subtle flanging effects. Then we have a depth control that introduces the LFI waveform to the delay time manual control until it dominates it almost completely when set fully clockwise. And then we have a rate control that controls the speed from very slow to very fast. On the top of the pedal, you have an input and you also have a dry and a wet output, and that's pretty much it. So because it's a flanger pedal, a modulation pedal, we're just going to check out the one guitar today, and that'll be my Matt Multi Classic. The amp I'm running into is my Fender 68 Custom Pro Reverb, which is one of my favorite clean pedal platform amps. I've got a little bit of drive coming from the Greer Amps light speed, but that's pretty much it. So the Matt Mull S Classic, straight into the light speed, straight into the amp. Sounds like this. <laughs>
so there we have it. That was a look at the camouflage flanger by Thorpe FX. Again, designing collaboration with Dan Coggins to be a one-stop shop for all things flanger and give us all those classic flanging sounds that we hear on countless records, as well as produce something really unique, simple to use and be 100% analog. There's so much you can get out of this pedal and you can get all those classic flanger effects all whilst being analog, which is really nice. And the six controls on there might seem a little daunting at first, but when you break them apart, they're actually really simple and really easy to use. And of course, the most important thing is it's a great sounding pedal. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of the camouflage by Thor PFX and you've gone and pick one up for yourself. Again, there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like this demo video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't be signing in my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists. I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.